Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you guys for coming. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, Matt and Ms. Stefanik, for leading on this. You know what I love about this? Watching uh, where President Trump is at in the polls. <laughs> I love it because it shows the American people don't trust you guys. And they shouldn't, because you guys are full of it and everybody knows it. There's a few honest journalists in this town, but they're very few and far between. You know how I know it wasn't an insurrection? Because he hasn't been charged with insurrection. And we can all see by the lawfare how he's facing up over 700 years in jail right now, how they've de tried to destroy this man, destroy his businesses, that if they felt they had an inkling of a chance of convicting President Trump of jaywalking or insurrection, they would absolutely charge him. You know how else I know it's not an insurrection? Because this is the first insurrection in the history of the world where the people that were a part of it were unarmed. Pretty hard to do if you walk around and see how many individuals are carrying firearms, all right? Last thing I wanna say about how I know it's not an insurrection is because I actually listened to the words of the president. If you're trying to stoke an insurrection, you don't tell the people listening, hey, I want you to go over there peacefully and patriotically, all right? This is not an insurrection. What it is, is a party that's scared to death of this man because he's America first, and he's shown time and time again he's willing to bust up the swamp, and he continues to beat you like a drum. That's what this is really about. And for all you journalists out there, you know, that are pretty cowardly, some in this room right now, you don't, have the, you don't have the balls to write the truth. And even if you did, your publishers wouldn't publish it because you're a part of a propaganda outlet, probably one of the biggest in the history of the world. If you had any courage, I want, I want some, you to ask some questions about that day, January 6th, that we keep talking about. Why is the pipe bomber not been caught yet? Huh? Why has the pipe bomber not been caught? The one individual that could have committed multiple mass, mass casualties has not been caught yet. Go look at, go, go follow some of uh, BD's reporting over at Revolver News. He's got some uh, evidence for you guys. What's going on up here with January 6th is there's a pretty big cover up actually going on up here in Capitol Hill about some of the involvement of our government. And uh, it's quite unsavory. And I want to acknowledge uh, Rep. Massey's work on this lately and others who have been trying to get to the bottom of it. But here's some other, here's some other questions for you journalists to ask. Why did it take so long for Ray Epps to be charged? Hmm? Go, go watch videos of Ray Epps on that day and how he was stoking the entire thing and how long it took him to be charged. And yet there were so many people that were brought, in, brought into the D.C. jail and they're still there to this day. So if you guys want to ask some questions, those are some questions. But the bottom line is we all know President Trump didn't, did not commit insurrection. And he's probably going to be the president of the United States once again. And so I'm happy to be a part of this resolution. I'm happy to support the president. And I'm happy to call out all you little cowardly liars in the press. Thank you. Um, I want to now... Um, Welcome my friend Harriet Hageman to come up. Is she here? All right, going down the list. Oh, you thought I was bad. Wait till this one gets up here. I want to welcome Miss Anna Paulina Luna. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.